Hello. Um, Luis de los Santos was born in the Dominican Republic and immigrated to New York at the age of four. It was clear to everyone around him that he would soon, someday be heading to engineering school. He, preferred, he pursued this dream first at Brooklyn Tech High School and then at Columbia University's uh, School of Engineering in an Electrical Engineering Department. After graduating from Columbia, he went on to work at various prestigious firms in New York, including Arthur Anderson, which is today's Accenture, and Brooklyn U Union Gas, today's National Grid. After several, several years, Luis decided to follow one of his passions and became a New York City public high school teacher. He taught math, science, and technology to children in Washington Heights for three years. Uh, later, Luis was recruited to help build the administrative and financial system for Aerodome, the company that had been granted the contract to run the airport to the Dominican Republic. After this assignment, he stayed in the Dominican Republic with his family and started Grupo Constructivo with, an, with another Columbia alum. He then came back to New York with his family, and he now is a communication skills consultant with Execcom in New York City, where he works today to help professionals and many industries become effective communicators. Luis is happily married and lives in Queens with his wife and two children. Please welcome Luis de los Santos. It's a real honor for me to be here. 25 years ago this week, I graduated from Columbia as well. Es un placer para mí estar aquí compartiendo estos momentos porque hace 25 años, me acuerdo, estuve yo sentado allí graduándome también y la verdad es que no me parece que son 25, me parece que son como 5. Aunque solo me toca mirar en el espejo y me acuerdo que son 25. So as soon as I check the mirror, I know that it's been 25 years. Coming back to Colombia is always a great experience for me. I had the opportunity to come here and with my two children to give them a tour of the campus. And so many memories came back. I remember college walk at Christmas with the lights and I hate to admit it, but I felt like I was at the electric parade in Disney World every time I walked by. I remember East Campus, the cold winter wind when you walk through from this part of the campus to East Campus across Amsterdam Avenue. If you didn't hold on to that sculpture, I still don't know what it is. Was it a big molar? <laughs> Whatever that it was, I remember having to hold on to that because otherwise you'd be blown away with the wind when you walked across. Remember the first day of the semester, full of promise. This was the semester you were going to make Dean's List. This was the semester. On Friday nights, you were going to be in the library. Then I also remember the last day of the semester. When you look back and say, I survived. I remember the last day of finals, when you felt, wow, is it over already? And you look forward to a summer, summer of growth, going back to your communities, and everybody wondering, what did you learn? You're not knowing where to begin. <laughs> so I was walking across campus, I also remember once, that when you had the dance here, we didn't have a dance troupe back then, but we did have multicultural shows. And there was a big show, and some of us were there doing a little bit of dancing, not so polished, with the congas and the bongo. And after the party, we were so excited just at how good the reception was. And as we were walking back across, we stopped by the alma mater and started playing. And all of a sudden, the party started. And people came and said, this is better than the party I just came from. I remember these things. I also remember the aha moments. The moments of discovering as an engineer that the world could be represented by mathematics up the classics and learning that the truth of the ages is still applied today. Learning about humanity through texts that were thousands of years old. I remember seeking knowledge for its own sake. Learning because learning was amazing. In learning, you felt that you were growing. You felt like you were ready to take on the world. I remember learning how to learn. These things are seared into my memory. Right now, you're still just getting over your finals. 
just thinking about what comes next. Within a few years, you'll be looking back. Within a few years, you'll look back and you'll remember the people who burrowed their ways into your heart and carved out a place for themselves forever. You'll take with you the teachers, the friends that you made on campus, off campus. These things will be with you forever. You'll also begin to make sense of your experiences. You will begin to learn what did it all mean. You're going to ask yourself questions. What does this experience mean? Does it mean anything? I have this piece of paper. I have my ring. What does it mean? You're going to ask questions. Some of the questions you're going to ask is, how did I get here? And all you have to do is turn back. Not now because Dean already stole that from me, so you don't have to do that. But you're going to look back and you're going to see the people whose blood, sweat, and tears got you to where you are today. And you'll remember not just them, but the struggles of those that came before. Everyone came from somewhere else. What did it cost them to come? You are that dream. You are the dream that they had generations ago, maybe one generation, maybe multiple generations. The question now is, once you begin to make sense of it, what will you do?